Thank you guys, seriously thank you all. Covering these Super Mario remasters has been some of the most fun I've had in my YouTube career. Obviously ever since the initial remasters rumors came out, we've been doing so many different videos on speculation, what we want to see, you know, making some content I'm really proud of. There have been so many videos ever since those rumors came out, but even before that, I mean, I've been doing YouTube for almost three years now, and I feel like I've always been talking about the possibility of these games coming to Switch. I mean, my first ever video was the dream ports I wanted to see on the Switch, and Super Mario Galaxy 1, 2, and 3D World were all within my top 5. Even back then, I put 3D World above both the Galaxy games. I guess some things never change. However, it looks like all this speculation is going to be wrapping up soon. It's sounding like these games are finally going to be announced, and so I really just wanted to say thank you guys for sticking with us through all the speculation and theories and whatnot. It's truly been amazing. However, we're not done just yet. Over the past three years, I've been making videos speculating about these games, talking about how they'd come to Switch, and, and formulating the best possible business strategy for Nintendo to bring them all over. And now, for what could probably be the final time before they're announced, let's get into the ultimate predictions for the Mario 35th Anniversary Remasters. I'm going to be utilizing the extremely complex technique of a flowchart to help demonstrate my points. If you guys are excited for possibly this final trip down speculation lane, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Alright, so for the ultimate Mario prediction, I have essentially two paths that this could go down. Obviously, we're assuming there is a big announcement, as simple by this uh, explosion looking thing. Oh man. Then I have two different arrows following two separate paths, and this is where the flowchart truly begins. The first one is honestly what I think is more likely, and that is the 2020 path. The 2020 path means that essentially all these games that Nintendo is going to, you know, show off about Mario are coming out in 2020. If if this is the case, then I believe that we'll be getting Super Mario 3D World Deluxe this September. This will include new content, being a brand new character of Yoshi, and a new world featuring brand new levels, some of which are inspired by the special episode levels added in as DLC to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. On top of that, if we're lucky, we might get Super Mario 3D Land levels remastered in HD, but don't hold your breath on that. When this game is announced, I will promptly lose my marbles, because given that 3D World is one of, if not my favorite game of all time, and I have been asking for it to come to Switch for literally three years now, I will probably be the happiest man alive. Then, on the 2020 path, we have the Super Mario 3D All-Stars pack. This will include Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. Why not Super Mario Galaxy 2, you might ask? Well, that makes too much sense. I don't know why, I just have a sinking feeling that Nintendo won't include that game because, you know, Nintendo always likes to take one step forward and one step to the side, so they can never just go straight forward and do an entirely good thing. Okay, brief tangent over. Super Mario 64 and Sunshine will both be converted into widescreen, and we will get them at HD for the first time. Both of them will have improved UIs, textures, and menus, however do not expect a full on remake like the Spyro Reignited trilogy or something like that. These will very much be remasters, bringing the games that already exist to the modern era with slight tweaks and visual upgrades. Mario Galaxy essentially will be ported just as is but turned to HD. The game already looks phenomenal, it doesn't really need any updates. So this is the 2020 path, and to be honest, this is what I think is most likely. Nintendo doesn't have any games slated for the rest of of 2020, and we obviously are going to have to have some big Nintendo release for the holidays, and a Super Mario 3D All-Stars would definitely sell. Next, let's move on to the second path. This one is nicknamed the 2021 path, even though some of this happens in 2020. That would mean this September we get Super Mario 3D World Deluxe, with all the same content I mentioned earlier. Yes, if you're taking notes at home, that would mean that I think we're getting Super Mario 3D World Deluxe this September either way. Is that ballsy? Yeah, am I probably just hoping to too much, yeah, but I really do think there's a pretty solid chance I'm right here. I guess we'll have to cross our fingers and see. Moving on to March of 2021, a Super Mario Galaxy collection will release. This will include both Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, and will be sold as $60. No new worlds, characters, or anything really interesting in terms of that stuff will be 
be added. These are two of the greatest games of all time, and just combining them together and fixing the graphics would be enough to sell them as 60 bucks. Moving on to the warm month of July, what game screams summer more than Super Mario Sunshine? I believe Sunshine HD will be releasing in July of 2021, and while it won't be a full-on remake in the style of the Spyro Reignited trilogy, it will act as kind of a Wind Waker HD situation, where various new features have been added, annoying gameplay problems with the first have been rectified, graphics have been essentially redone, however still maintaining the original style, all the textures have been incredibly cleaned up, and the game looks great in HD. That's what Wind Waker HD did, so they could literally just do pretty much the same thing. Then that takes us all the way to November of 2021. We're the big one. Super Mario 64 gets entirely remade. Just like the Spyro Reignited trilogy, everything here is done from the ground up to make this the ultimate way to experience Super Mario 64. New content is added. Unfortunately, bugs like the backwards long jump are fixed. Overall, this game would be truly what Nintendo envisioned when they were originally planning up Super Mario 64, but without all those pesky technological restraints that come when you're developing one of the first 3D games ever made. Now overall, if I were to choose a track, I think 2020 is more likely. 2021 literally sounds like a pipe dream. Sunshine HD completely remastered in the style of Wind Waker, and then a ground up remake of Super Mario 64 for the second time? Yeah, that sounds more like a 4chan leak than an actual Nintendo business strategy. However, when it comes to it, if these Mario remaster rumors are real, which I, I'm like, I'm 100% convinced they are, these are the two paths I see Nintendo going down. Once again, 2020 is more likely, but they're both definitely possible. And with that, I can finally rest. After so many of these rumor prediction speculation videos on these Super Mario 3D 35th anniversary all-star remasters, whatever you want to call them, I just want to say thank you guys. The channel has grown spectacularly throughout this period, and just seeing all you guys as excited about these games as I am, it, it it's, it's so cool, man. I still remember playing some of these games as a little kid, just being so in awe by the pure creativity and, and wonder that Nintendo put into these titles. And to be able to talk about them with you guys and share that same experience with them potentially getting remastered and re-released, it's just, it's its truly surreal. And I want to thank each and every one of you if you've just watched one of these videos or all, you know, million of them. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. And let's hope that July 20th comes around and we're not all, you know, crying and disappointed. <laughs> no, seriously, whatever happens, happens. I just want you guys to know you're all the best. And it's just, yeah, thank you guys all so much. I'm Thomas from the Switch Stops, signing off. Peace.